Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking into this video. Today's video is a round two of my RMS Beauty review deal. I don't know what I'm calling this video yet. But a little history behind this video. My second video I ever came up with was a RMS Beauty review slash first impressions. That video didn't go so well. Um, I didn't like a majority of the products, so I put that video up and a lot of people were very unhappy with me. Some people were just mean whose comments I deleted because they make me sad. But a lot of people were, had a lot of constructive criticism and they said that my technique was just very wrong and I should have done a little bit more research behind the products before I just slapped them on my face and um, I completely agree 100% technique matters a lot and yes I should have done more research or looked at the directions of how they say to best apply the products. So that video has a lot more thumbs down than it has thumbs up and that makes me so sad so I thought what I would do is rebuy all the products and put them on my face this time um, using your guys's comments as a guide and also looking at the directions on the RMS website to do it exactly how they recommend um, so I got, I want you guys to watch the video and see my thoughts as I go through each product again. I don't want to give away my final results yet, so I want you guys to watch the video. Also, do go watch that first one because I think, I don't know, it's good to have a little bit of a history on what I initially thought and what I think now. But yeah, that was a hell of a long intro, but if you guys want to see... RMS products in action, try number two, then please keep on watching. I look so dead right now, so let's put some makeup on this face. Like I said in, well I hope I said this in the intro, but I am going to follow the directions on Sephora's app to apply all of these because I want to do everything right this time and then see if I end up with the same problem or if I like the products, if I use them correctly. Okay, so the packaging for everything is like this, which can get very confusing. So I just um, put them upside down now so I could see what the product actually is because I don't want to put the bronzer in, on my face as a foundation this time. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is the Uncover Up. I am in the shade 22, and these are all natural, organic, coconut oil-based products. Very, very creamy. Okay, so for this product, it says, apply sparingly with fingers over the T-zone or where every, any coverage is desired, or you could use their brush, which is that really tall, I mean, really skinny little brush that has the swirls in it. And um, that's like one of the ways that they say to apply it. But I'm going to do what they say. I'm going to apply very, very sparingly with my fingers. Also, you guys, if you have stuff to cover, if you have blemishes, like I'm going to stick with this. I said this in the last video, but if you have a lot of shit to cover, this is this is just not the product for you. This is, you could see, like I'm putting it on my skin and the most it's going to do for you is even out your skin tone. Like, you know, if you have like veins like I do or a little bit of discoloration, but if you have a lot of pigmentation or acne or anything to cover, um, this is not going to do that for you. It's extremely, extremely sheer, but it is very, very easy to apply. It melts into the skin just because it does have all of those natural oils in it. 
So I'm just going to apply this everywhere with my finger. I think another good way to apply it is taking a buffing brush and just going like this. This might not be the most sanitary thing, but I just feel like it would be a lot faster than your fingers. So I dipped my brush into there once and now I'm just stippling it onto my face. And it definitely does even out your skin tone. Or if you don't want to use it as a foundation, just use it as a concealer because it is meant to be a foundation and concealer. So if it's just not, you're not liking it as an all over foundation, just use it as a concealer in certain spots on your face. And you might actually like it for that because it is um, good coverage if you're using it as a concealer. You can see I'm barely dipping in my brush into the product. Since it says use sparingly, that is what I am going to do. I'm pretty sure in the last video I used it sparingly as well. I'm sure you guys will tell me if I didn't, but I'm pretty sure I did. I think the main critique was that um, I should have applied the products not so much in a sweeping motion, but more of a tapping so it doesn't take off what's underneath, which um, is totally true. So I'm doing it like the instructions say, but I'm still getting that same result. It's still peeling and separating on my nose. This is why I think technique is very, very important. I completely agree, but sometimes a product just doesn't mesh with your skin type. And I think that's the case with me for this product. I think just the heaviness of all of the oils and stuff, it just does not mesh with my skin. Okay, so I have a little bit to say about this foundation slash concealer. When I first put it on, um, like you guys were seeing, it was starting to do the exact same thing that happened last time where it was so dry and flaky that it was separating on my nose between my eyebrows and grabbing onto every dry patch that I didn't even know I had. So I had to go in with a cotton pad that has like, um, these cotton pads that I get have a normal side on one side and then the other side kind of exfoliates your face. So I went in with this and I really exfoliated my skin. I took off everything that was on it and I just kept rubbing this um, in circular motions. And then I went in again with the foundation and really just pressed it into my skin like this very, very slowly to really warm the product up. And that seems to have given me a better result. Now, the thing that I think at this point is, is this something I'm willing to do on a daily basis? If I want to use this product, am I gonna have to exfoliate every single time I wanna use it and then sit there for a good 10, 20 minutes pressing it into my skin? That's just, it just doesn't sound reasonable to me. Like if this works for your skin, it's a beautiful product. It is good for your skin. It's giving back so much like, you know, like coconut oil, almond, like jojoba oil. It has all of that stuff. So if it works for you, that is awesome. But if you have like dry dehydrated skin like me and you're getting this issue of the separation, then be prepared to be applying this for a good while for it to look nice so that's how I feel about it I pretty much have the same thoughts that I did last time um, even applying it with this technique I still think it doesn't look as good on my skin as other foundations so now let's move on to the next product Okay, so the next thing I have is the contour bronzer. Now on the website, there isn't any specific directions of how to use this. It just says, for a deep bronzed glow, apply to areas the sun naturally hits and blend well. Now, one thing a lot of people left comments on is that if I swipe back and forth like this 
obviously it's going to skip since this is a thicker product and that makes complete sense. So I think this time what I'm going to do is really warm the product up in my finger and then blend it in with my finger. So this is what it looks like. It's a really beautiful color. I said this last time too. It is the perfect color to contour with, but you do not need a lot of it. So I'm gonna take a little bit right there on my finger and I'm gonna feel for my cheekbone. So there it is. And now I'm just gonna kind of blend with my finger, just going back and forth motions. Blend upward, don't blend downward because that will drag your face down. Like that's thing that's one thing with this brand. If you love that no makeup makeup look, oh god, this is perfect for you. Because it literally gives you that look. So there's the contour. It's actually really beautiful. I'm gonna apply a little bit more since this side has had a chance to dry. Let's just see how buildable this is. So on my forehead area, I am going to blend it in more with my brush just because it's a lot faster. Otherwise, we're going to be here for a while. Look how easily that blended in with a brush. And now let's move on to the blush. This is the Lip to Cheek Bloom, so you could use this on your lips, you can use this on your cheeks. I have the color Demir, which is a beautiful, beautiful rosy pink. So I'm gonna do the same technique with the blush. I'm just gonna smile and tap this onto my cheeks. That is beautiful. It just looks like a really rosy sheen. So there's the blush. It's beautiful. It's such a pretty color. I'm gonna, it, I tap some off on my hand before I go in, just because this is really pigmented. The blush is really, really pretty. I like that. I love how everything looks so fresh and glowy and natural. Definitely a perfect no makeup makeup look. Now one product that I am in love with in this brand, like absolutely in love with, is the Living Luminizer. This is their highlight and this is it's almost like a translucent, balmy highlight that'll really give you that wet look. So I'm just going to place that in my highlight areas. And this product is just beautiful. I absolutely love it. It is a little bit sticky, so isn't that so pretty? It's just like the most natural sheen. I like putting this above my eyebrows oh wow okay see so I'm still putting this in on my with my fingers but that just took off all the foundation that was underneath it like I don't know maybe it's just my skin you guys maybe it's just my skin that doesn't like this but the products don't stay on my skin like I said technique is important 100% but sometimes even if you use the right technique it's just not the product meant for your skin okay so we also have one of their eye polishes I had very very bad luck with this last time it creased on my eyes within seconds but that was because I used way too much product so today we're gonna try very little product. This is the eye polish in the color Lucky. I was about to say Yucky. <laughs> but it's like one of the... It's cop, It's a copper color. So I'm just going to take that much on my finger. It's not a lot. And apparently you're supposed to work this into your skin. Which is weird for... Um, like an eyeshadow. But whatever. But if you really blend it in, like how I'm doing right now, there's no color. But then if you put more on, it creases. I think this is just not 
the product for me. So there it is. It's pretty, but um, it's just okay. I don't think it's anything crazy. Now, there is a lot of shine on my face right now. I like that, but only in certain areas. So I am going to use their powder. This is their un unpowder. And they have um, color ones too. This is just the translucent. So I'm going to put some on my cap there. And I'm going to take a smaller brush just so I could be more strategic with where I'm putting this. And this will just take away some of this shine. But like the foundation and everything is coming off on my brush. I don't know. I just think I don't have the right skin type. I don't feel like you should have to work this much to make a product look good on your skin. Like it looks, it looks okay from a distance, but from up close, I do not like how everything looks. Okay, so the eye polish is already creasing. I used very little, you guys, I promise, but maybe it might, oh, ooh, maybe my eyelids are too oily. I don't know. But I have the RMS lip liner. I love all the packaging. I love it how it's all white and so sleek and stuff. But this is the lip liner. I have the color Daytime Nude, which is just a really pretty brownie nude shade. So I'm going to line my lips. My skin looks like a mess from up close. Everything just looks so dry and so flaky. This lip liner is nice. It's really, really smooth. It doesn't skip or anything like that. Yeah, this is actually really nice, but I think it's a little bit too soft because it is breaking off onto my lips. The lip liner is nice. It almost feels like a lipstick. It's That's what, what it feels like going onto your lips. Um, it's very, very soft though, so if you're not careful and you use too much pressure, it will crumble. Um, so now what I'm going to do just to finish off is take that lip polish and I'm just going to put that on the lips. Okay, so let's do a close up now. From a distance, it looks okay, but from up close, it, it's just caking up everywhere on my face. I don't know, maybe this just isn't meant for me. Okay, you guys, so let me give you my final thoughts. I agree with a majority of you that left comments on my video saying that technique matters, and I completely agree because today, using a more tapping, pressing in technique and using my fingers, um, everything went on a lot nicer than it did last time. But I still don't think these products are for me. Um, even with the highlight, I was pressing it in to my forehead and my foundation underneath was coming off. Also, another point is to make this product, these products look nice on my skin, I really have to try really hard. I have to sit there for a while really working them in. Otherwise, I literally had to take it off because it was looking like a cakey mess. And then I had to go back and really take my time to press it into my skin. Also, another thing for me is I don't really like using my fingers. To have to work things in, I think it just takes too much time. And lastly, I just don't like the feel of the products just because they are oil-based. So they just feel very heavy on my skin even though I am dry. So I get how this can work for some people, more mature skin types, people that have perfect, perfect skin people that love the no makeup makeup look or the people that love working with their fingers, you guys will love this brand. I just think that although it's beautiful, everything looks so pretty, 
it's just not for me. It's just not something I look for in my makeup. So with that, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this review. If you have not watched the first video, go watch it. I will link it somewhere right here because I want you guys to see my first, first initial reactions to the products. And you guys, I hope that I see every single one of you in the next video. Bye guys.